loneliness is a pretty embarrassing thing to admit um as opposed to telling a friend that you're depressed for example because if you do that you can still come off as a tragic artist or some sort right um but tell them that you're lonely and you sound like a needy loser who don't know how to be alone like a true sigma male but that's the thing about loneliness isn't it because it is not just about being physically alone because you can be um in a room full of people right now and still feel alone there are people who go to bed next to their partner every night but they don't feel connected to them right and i would argue that that's even worse than being single there is this test called the ucla loneliness scale where obviously by the name um, allow you to assess how miserable that you're feeling right now um, socially uh, but uh, for real this is actually a very helpful uh, tool to illustrate how loneliness is actually way more dynamic than we, what we typically think of um, and uh, by asking a lot of questions such as uh, this one so as you can see here um, what we want to work towards is being able to answer yes to a lot of these uh, questions um, and as you can see a huge chunk of them is about being able to express our authentic self on a basic level um, this means that when we are within our social circle we can be authentic with them we don't feel like we need to impress them we don't feel like we um, need to violate any values or principles in order to fit within the group um, we feel fairly confident about how they feel towards us uh, that they want to spend quality time with us as much as we do want to spend quality time with them uh, with the accepted as who we are so if we already have accepting non-toxic people in our lives then why do we still feel lonely my guess is um, it is because we still have a lot of other parts in us that we are unable to share one example um i used to have a lot of close friends that i could be vulnerable with uh, where we talk about our emotional struggles we talk about um feelings and all that you know like uh touchy stuff uh but then i realized that i didn't have anyone to share about my success with you know uh, the things that got me excited at work um you know like about drives and ambitions um because first i didn't want to come off as a great thing and secondly most people hate hated their jobs anyway uh, but those things are important to me um you know like uh, work ties a lot to my self-worth uh, for some reason um and not being able to share that with another human being added to that social disconnectedness so my suggestion to you is to build a community and by community i mean have different people um in your life that you can share um the different part of you with right um like if your partner doesn't like horror movies for example you know you can't force them right it's not your fault that they are not cultured enough right find someone who would share the uh, similar amount of intensity about this particular topic of these particular ideas right um and i think um that's because that's how humans are socially wired to be because we, we are meant to be uh in a community we are not meant to be alone we are not meant to be we just like two people we are meant to be in a community what a good um uh, outro message okay bye bye